modification of the stem. In this section, we will study how the stem is modified for performing the different functions. Uh, first, we have the types of modifications of stem. The stem has three types of the modification. The first one is aerial modification, sub-aerial modification and underground modification. First, we will study about the aerial modification of the stem. What is meant by aerial? Aerial means that is above the ground. In some plants, aerial stems are converted uh, into the various different forms or shapes to perform the specific function. The first uh, type of the aerial modification is stem tendril. What are the stem tendril? In case of the many uh, uh, vines or in case of the many climbing stems, they are the certain curl like portion as you have, uh, as you may see over here. In case of the grape vine, the curl uh, like structure, the supporting structure which are found on the climbing stem, they basically responsible for wrapping. Uh, the stem or for climbing the stem upward and to uh, make the stem to, to get attached uh, with the with any surface like in case of the grapevine you have seen they are the stem tendrils so what are the stem tendrils they are the spiral fibers they are fiber like structure they are found in the place of the auxiliary birds or the apical birds which helps in the climbing up which helps in uh, the plant which helps uh, this grapevine to climbing upward Examples the grapes, grape wine, grapes, vinifera, etc. Stem thorn. Thorn basically they are the pointed or spine like structures. You might have seen these spine like structure uh, on the stem of the various plants like rose. You have seen it uh, many times on the surface uh, of the rose stem. These spines are present. They basically their function is to protect the plant. This is the modification of the axillary bud. This is now uh, I am I'm sure you might have familiar what is the axillary bud, the bud or uh, which is responsible for the uh, rising of the lateral branches. It is thick and spiny. Example: lime. In case of the citrus, in case of the uh, in case of the lemon, lemon plant. In the lemon plant, you might have seen these thorn-like structure on on the stem of the lemon plant. The stem thorn work as a uh, protection from the animals. Which is, uh, it is a thick, fleshy or green and a flat leaf like structure. It does photosynthesis. Example, hawthorn, opuntia, cactus. Cactus is also the examples of, example of the phylloclade type of the stem which is a thick and fleshy. It is also called as a succulent stem. In terms uh, and the nodes are present on the stem. And clay node. A phylloclade uh, stem with a single internode is called clay node. This is black and green and the photosynthetic. This is also like the phylloclade, but it is a uh, it is a thing than like as the phylloclade was the more thick, and it has a single inner node in it, and it is flattened and green structure end is also responsible for the photosynthesis. Example: asparagus, uh, and the other few examples are over here. Bulbil. Bulbil basically is, uh, this is also an uh, important modification of the stem which is found in the some plants. In this case, the vegetative or, flo or, or flower bulbs collect food and get pollen. As you can see over here, uh, bulbils are the small bulb like structure which is mainly present in the axil of the leaf and the stem. You can see over here, bulbils basically they are the uh, rounded swollen structure and they are found at the base of uh, at, at the edges of the leaf and the stem where the stem and leaf are jointed they are found over here and their function is to collect food these help in the vegetative propagation they basically they help in the development and the growth of the green parts or the vegetative part of the plant 
Example includes a gave and gain. Now the second type of uh, sum modification is sub is sub or the semi arial modification, and they are the following types of the sub or semi arial modification. What are sub arial or semi arial modification? Basically, the branches uh, that partially below or uh, Uh, above the surface of the ground means they are not uh, very high from the uh, ground. They are the four types of the sub or semi arial modifications: runner, stolon, sucker, and offset. Uh, increase on crawling on the ground. On the on the stem, the nodes are found to have the adventitious roots and leaves. New plants are produced by the separation of the intermediate. Example: the dub grass. Now, many of the grasses basically they are the example of the runner stem. Basically, they run on the ground. Stolon. Stolon basically little branches. Emerge from the base of the main stem. As you can see over here, the lateral branches emerge from the base of the main stem. They initially grow upward. Firstly, the main stem they initially grow upward and then arch down. Firstly, uh, the stem basically grow upward like a runner. It uh, it uh, run uh, uh, along the ground. They, uh, then it grow upward and then arc down to develop the new plants. For example, strawberry. In case of the strawberry, strawberry is not a uh, like uh, it uh, do not have the stem like runner. But firstly, it has the stem like runner. But um, after that, it grows upward, upward from the ground, a little height, a li at little height above from the ground. And then when the fruit when the fruit basically comes, it again arcs down. The third type of the stem is called a stolon. Sucker. The underground branches of the stem uh, arises. This type of the stem, uh, the underground branches of this type of the stem arise from the axillary buds of the underground part of the area stem. The part of the stem which is uh, underground uh, from that part. Uh, some aerial branches arise, and they are called as suckers. The underground part of the stem arise some aerial or uh, uh, some uh, some branches arise from their axillary buds. Uh, they are called as suckers, and their function is to absorb the mineral sometimes. Example include the mint and persimmon. Close crawling. In water, which is similar to the runners found on the land, they are just similar to the runners. They are found on the land, but the offset they are found in the aquatic plants. Their branches are small, thick, and uh, they have the internal. Example: the water hyacinth and pistachia. And pistachia, the example. Uh, water lily is also the example, uh, having the offset type of stem. Underground modifications of the stem. Sometimes the uh, stem is modified uh, to store the food material uh, underground or below the ground. So underground part of the stem sometimes is converted for collection of the food, physiological functions, reproduction, etc. So due to the presence of the nodes and internodes, buds, etc., they are called stem because the underground part of the stem. Uh, Uh, although it is under uh, underground, but it has uh, the part of the stem like nodes, internodes, and the buds, and they are swollen to uh, collect the food material in it. There are the following types of the underground modifications of the stem: rhizome, tuber, corn. Uh, this is corn, not corn. The end. The last alphabet is M. Corn and bud. So, so first one is rhizome. It is thick, fleshy, and the irregular underground stem. The stem grows uh, horizontally below the 
soil surface and produces the aerial leaves above the ground like here you can see examples zingiber offensiel offensinelli and turmeric etc in case of the turmeric turmeric uh, which uh, the urdu name of it haldi you use it in your um, daily life uh, like in cooking it is used the turmeric is used in bar cooking so turmeric has a such type of the root which is called the rhizome underground root and uh, it has the aerial leaves above the ground and thick and fleshy in this case the stem tubers are swollen ends of the specialized underground branches that contains the nodes and internodes examples potato corn corn basically it is also fleshy all the underground stems they are the fleshy because they have the stored food material it is fleshy condensed vertically growing root vertically growing root that is usually unbranched elephant form uh, elephant foot yam there is a uh, there is a plant elephant foot yam taro and saffron saffron which is also called as uh, zafran in urdu uh, so this is uh, the these are the types of uh, these are the examples of the corn type of this thing as you have seen over here the corn basically swollen and it has uh, the vertically present flowers and leaves okay the last and the fourth one type of uh, uh, underground modification of the stem is bulb some plants have very small disc like stem some plants like onion they have the disc like stem they contain the fleshy scaly leaves these leaves are known as bulb and they are modified underground uh, leaves which are fleshy swollen and the spherical due to the storage of the food examples onion garlic etc so in case of the onion you can see it has a disc like appearance so such type of the stem is called as bulb such type of the underground modification is called as bulb